Doja Cat, as of recent, has had to be clearly struggling or suffering with something that we, the public, do not have knowledge on as of yet. However, that is absolutely no excuse to be treating your fans, your dedicated supporters, like they are beneath you, like they are absolutely nothing to you. What is it with celebrities at the moment? Like, it's a growing trend of them having their heads so far up their own asses and constantly riding on their high horses that it's like, hey, we are the reason that you are even something today, honey. I used to like your music, but you treat your fans like it. Dude, literally suck. You act like I have some responsibility to be like babying people. Someone goes, oh my God, this isn't Doji no more or some shit. What the f did that bitch say? It's quite sad, honestly, to watch a career downfall by the sidelines, but it it's just hard to feel sympathy when she is treating everyone around her like utter shite. Doja Cat had posted, my life, my rules, my style, my attitude. Seems normal enough. A fan responds, I want to hear you say, I do love you guys, as usual, you say to your fans. I don't though, because I don't even know y'all. Ouch. Doja, you probably should have not praised your fans. Not told them that you loved them. I'm Doja Cat and I love you very much. And also said such nice and supportive things about your fans. I wouldn't be here without my fans. And kind of manipulated them until you got to the top where it's like you have enough money to really just say, if you like my music, you're a big dickhead. You probably shouldn't have said all of that if you truly didn't mean it. Because your fans expect that of you now. So I, I just don't understand. But it it doesn't just stop here. We don't know you, but we have supported you through thick and thin. Mind you, you would be nothing without us. You'd be working at a grocery store, making songs on Garage Band, Miss High School Dropout. Doja responds, nobody forced you. I don't know why you're talking to me like you're my mother, bitch. You sound like a crazy person. That is so rude. Where is this all coming from? It's like, okay, you told us that the persona that you've been playing for a couple of years really isn't the real you. The real you is just this. <coughs> you can 100% change as a person, but you've basically just lied to your entire support base by praising them, telling them how much you love them. The appreciative comments, all just to spit it back in their faces. And this really is not a good look for Doja Cat at the moment since, as you can see here, there are many fans getting refunds for their tickets for the upcoming Doja Cat tour. But this is all expected. Like, if you truly don't appreciate them or love them, why are they going to spend their hard-earned money on you? But maybe this really does bring parasocial relationships into question. It's really not the fault of the fans for being upset at Doja Doja Cat because like I'm going to reiterate for a third time, if you are somebody who constantly lets your fans know that you love them, that you appreciate them, and then all of a sudden you're like, no, no, I don't even know y'all. I don't know y'all. Y'all don't mean anything to me. You're just a crazy bitch. It's very confusing for them because you cannot be mad at the fact that your fans want to hear something that you've been saying for years now. That's your own fault. You know, this further proves the point in my mind that celebrities, not the majority of them, but a lot of them see us as walking dollar signs. Clearly how Doja Cat sees us at the moment. Like I've been here since the Moo video, babe. Now this? A fan page posted this just hours after Doja Cat also said, my fans don't name themselves shit. If you call yourself a kitten or a kittens, that means you need to get off your phone and get a job and help your parents with the house. We'll get to that in a second. Doja loves us, but she is now playing the role of Scarlet. They are two different characters. In an interview, she said that she apologized for what would happen later. She also said that she loves us before she got into the role of Scarlet. She doesn't hate us, but Scarlet does since she's evil, but Doja doesn't despise us. Hate messages are from Scarlet. I could not for the life 
of me find where Doja Cat supposedly said this because newsflash, she didn't say any of this. Now, hypothetically speaking, if Doja Cat were to have said all of this, that, you know, she would be playing Scarlet, playing a character that her fans don't know about like this is in terms of her posting like Scarlet and being Scarlet it's just giving her an excuse to degrade her fans and pass off her bad behavior because if I got on to a YouTube video tomorrow and made up I don't know drama Emily evilness and I started saying fuck y'all you watch my videos you're a fucking idiot but no guys no guys, I'm just playing drama Emily. That wouldn't make any sense. It's tone deaf to be telling her fans to get off their asses and go out to work. How do you think that people have the money to go to your shows, buy your albums, buy your merch, support you? You have all of what you have off of the backs of other people. Don't get me wrong, Doja Cat is an incredibly incredibly talented person. But that also doesn't take away from the fact that she's acting a fool right now and it really just isn't okay. Like for her to be treating her fans this way and then, you know, while I was doing research on this topic, I saw that she's currently dating like a racist predator and Look, if that turns out to be true, don't worry, I'm doing some research for a video on that. It's just like, where is her head at? Where is her head at? Where's your head at? Like you're telling your fans to get up off their asses, go get a job, work, help their parents around their house while you're sniffing coke on Instagram live and posting about how you don't love your fans anymore. I don't get it. And the final thing I wanted to touch on was the fact that she also also degraded, you know, the fan name Kitten or Kittens because Doja Cat, Cat, Kittens. She literally put up a Twitter poll on what she should call us fans. So I don't really understand the whole like, if you call yourself something that I've called you, then you are just somebody who is jobless and lives with your parents, which both are not bad things. And to make it seem that way is just... <sighs> You are a multi-millionaire famous artist. Why are you destroying your career like this? I also have this huge feeling that she is trying to shed her persona pre-2021 and along with shedding that persona, shedding that fan base because she has been losing followers on social media left and right. A fan comes forward and says, girl, have you realized you're losing Insta followers? And Doja Cat replies, yes. I need to. Yes, Doja Cat has come for people on Twitter in the past, but it has honestly never been this bad. So with that being said, everybody, that is all we know for now currently. If there is anything that you want to add to this down in the comment section below, I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about this. Thank you so much for your time today, everybody. And with that being said, I will see you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Most of all, love your fucking selves.